Welcome to NateBoyce.com. In this video, I'm changing the oil in a 74 Honda VF750. And you can see here, I'm just loosening the filter by hand. I like to do this when it's warm so the oil comes out a little case a little better. But because it's so close to the exhaust, I got it up to temperature and then I had dinner. So it's still warm, but it's not hot. It's kind of a cool night. As you can see, I got long sleeves on. And that just came off by hand. The next thing to do is take out that dipstick and I use the socket ratchet to loosen it and then I use my fingers to take it the rest of the way off. And I let the oil drain. So after the oil is drained, I prep the filter. I like to pre-soak the filter elements, which is kind of that cardboard type material inside of them. I also lube up the top of the filter, which is, has that O-ring gasket piece on it. And doing that allows it to come off by hand and not get stuck on there. You can see I'm wiping it right there, just making sure it gets on there good. I'm also talking to the filter and encouraging it, telling it's going to be a good filter and do a good job of cleaning. So that I clean off the plug and I put that back on. And I did tighten it with the wrench, but not too tight. And this filter, I just hand tighten that. So I'm right here, I'm talking to it some more and getting ready to put it on. So now I pulled the plug out and clean it off. It has an O-ring, so before I put that plug back on, I did lube it up. I use this long filter that I have. I use it for ATF transmissions a lot of time. It works good for that as it's about the right size for this hole. So I just pour it in slowly and wait and pour it in and wait. And I cut a lot of this part out because it took the longest. I did remove the dipstick, but it didn't speed it up any. And I'm finally done. And if I drip a little bit on it, it's okay. It just helps that o-ring lube up even better I think there you don't want that to stick so because that filter sideways and only half full and I have a kill switch I turn the kill switch off and then I crank the bike over to get that oil into that filter and always remember to put that off back on because it's embarrassing trying to start with the kill switch off it won't start so now I uh, already Pulled this dipstick out once and then wiped it off, put it back in, and this is pulling out again and checking the level, and it's about perfect here. So the oil change is done, but now's for the fun part. Since I got this tool, and I'm, the name brand doesn't really matter, it's just the that style of tool. I think this is probably a generic Jags or something like that. But I like to use these tools to cut up where the filters, and not only just to see how the filters are made, which is kind of the cool part of it, but also to see if there's any metal flakes in there. And I've been doing this with all my filters now. So the way this works is you just kind of put it in there, you tighten it just a little bit, you turn it once or twice, you tighten it a little bit more, and you turn it once or twice, and just keep doing that until it pops off and it will do a really clean cut. Um, this one came off real nice. So you can see here. And this is just how long it took. It doesn't take long at all. I think it's worth having. The tool's a little pricey, but it is nice. And you can see that how the filter's made and what's inside of it. So right now I'm just going to pull the pieces apart. And as I'm pulling apart, I'm looking for to see if anything stands out in there. And then even though I had that filter turned upside down, there's still a bunch in the bottom. Here I'm inspecting it for any metal pieces and didn't find any. And when I dump it out, I'm also looking to see if there's any shiny stuff or flakes or anything anywhere. And I'm giving it a good look now and I really didn't find anything in this filter. And with this black as that oil was, I'd think there'd be something in there, but it was really clean. So either the filter didn't catch anything or there was nothing in there. So here I'm just going animal on it and ripping it apart and going to get this filter 
completely apart because there's got to be something in here. <laughs> and I finally got it. Uh, and you can see that there's the metal tube to keep it from collapsing. But I checked both sides and there wasn't anything in there. You can see them. Um, look at there. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.